Okay, well, welcome everybody. So, at this point in time, it has been exactly two months since this game has been released. You can see I've been quite busy. I managed to get some fairly high levels in the same amount of kills, as well as wins, losses, all of that kind of stuff as well. We have been given a new shop, but one thing I want to talk about uh, today a little bit is that the fact the game is kind of uh, dying off just a little bit. So one of the things I'm going to be doing to kind of counter hopefully any more massive losses is from this point on I want to try and not participate in too many of the sort of like five or six stack teams and more keep myself into three stacks. I'm kind of hoping other people will do the same as well at some point. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that might just help. Um, the other things of course is we are looking forward to hopefully at some point getting a new class in the game as well as a few updates that might come in the later part of this week. Uh, so if you're watching this, hopefully in a couple of days we might have another video on the update. Whether or not the new class is going to come with it though, I have no idea. Um, with that being said, whilst this game is kind of just incredible, it's, it's got some amazing features, um, I would like to talk a little, about, uh, a little bit about some of the things I think have kind of gone wrong since the launch. Um, so one thing of course is past level 100, you only get a reward every 10 levels. It's been this way since... Some of the first people got to level 100. I believe I was with like the third or fourth. So with this being a feature where we only get gems every 10 levels, uh, one of the things is, and what I'm going to go on to show you in this video is the shop, I can't get silver every time I level up. As I was getting to about level 100, I was getting about 1,000 silver after every level up. You can see I'm only on 16,000 silver, and that is after days and days and days of grinding, maybe only getting 50 to 100 silver every game. Uh, one other thing that is still completely unchanged since the beginning, along with this whole, you know, not getting uh, silver past level 100, is Phantom Rage. Uh, Phantom Rage is still lasting longer than Wingard can now smoke, because uh, Wingard smoke got nerfed, Phantom Rage did not. Phantom Rage is still in a state of basically being abused, and the entire rage mechanic as well can still be abused. But one mistake I think has been made as well is they have made it so that you can no longer die from crashing into a wall. Whilst I understand that is good for new players, it is basically nerfing the crap out of blast. You know, if you go and blast somebody and you position that blast in a place where it's only going to slam them into a wall, they no longer can die from that. It's it's very sad. Um, it makes one of one of the more sort of skill shot abilities now kind of just nerfed. It doesn't really work. But also just seeing somebody take a tiny, tiny amount of HP damage from crashing is quite sad. Um, it does also mean that now, at the higher skill levels, players can essentially just ricochet themselves off of walls with no worries. Uh, you don't, like, the most damage you can take is five, which is one-fifth of an entire health bar. It, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. On top of that, um, they have changed Flamethrower to the point where it now feels much less effective. Um, it feels, at times, laggy to use. It's, it's, a, it's a very odd... Uh, thing that they've done. Uh, I can't really quite place exactly what it is, but sometimes when people are in front of you and you try and flame breath them, it just doesn't work. Okay, um, outside of that, I would probably just say that, you know, some of the really good things they've done is like with Marauder and Wingard, the nerf to Wingard and the buff to Marauder has basically put all three classes, in my opinion, on a completely equal playing field. Phantom and Marauder I can still kill more with Phantom just because of the shield breaking passive, even though that got nerfed, I can still kill more with Phantom, but I now die more frequently to Marauders just pelting me of shots. If you're a Phantom and you've used your cloak, or you use all your gusts, or you've used your Salvation Surge and smoke and stuff like that, if a Marauder is on you, you will now die. So that is a really, really good buff. I'm, see I'm seeing sort of equal playing times between all three classes as well. Every single class now feels in a very, very good place, except for Phantom with its still overpowered rage. Okay, with all that being said, there are, of course, a lot of little key features that people agree and disagree on. Um, I do believe the game's going in a good direction, and uh, I believe that at some point when we get this new class, it's going to shake the game up to the point where it actually might start being interesting. Fingers crossed we get to that point in the game, but at the moment uh, we'll move on to our feature of this uh, entire video, which is the shop. And here we are. So I will um, I will admit I've already seen this. So this is a another pack. Uh, this is the third one in a row that we've had for the same amount of money. This is a amazing piece. Uh, you can see here uh, we've got a new Marauder, and it's not really new. It's Olhrag. 
one of the most anticipated uh, unlocks of the entire game at the moment is hitting level 100 and getting this dragon. Now you just have a reskinned version of him. Disappointed! Uh, I think this is very sad, in my opinion. Um, you've literally just gone and reskinned a dragon that everybody slaved over to try and get. And now you're here saying, well, it's here's, here's, here it is, um, but it's going to cost you the price of a game to get it. Um, I'm not a fan of reskinning any of the legendary dragons, um, unless they were in a Frost and Fury event. That made sense. You basically took a dragon, which was, uh, if we go and have a look. So we had um, Hjalgund. So this is a Frost and Fury event dragon. It's Frost and Fury themed. It's a winter themed dragon. And they then took it and gave us this one. It's the same dragon, but reskinned. So I was okay with that. It was like, okay, well, you have an event themed dragon. You've taken away that event theme and you've given us this. This is like the real Hjalgund. Cool. Awesome. That worked. But now they are reskinning um, regular legendary dragons. The last one they did uh, for, again, it was a $32 pack, or Aussie dollar, I should say, was Venthyr. Um, in my opinion, they kind of butchered him. Um, they took a really cool looking, edgy dragon um, that was kind of like the first amazing dragon I saw in this game. And they took him and they just thrown green paint on him. And they're like, here you go. $32, please. So I was a little bit upset with that. And then I've been now even more upset with seeing something that took me a month to earn just being reskinned and put out there. And it's not even an event themed skin. Do, do you get what I mean? That's a bit sad. It's a bit upsetting. Anyway, moving on, we have a incredibly nice themed set for the Marauder. Uh, Marauder has been lacking in this kind of department. And now we have this. It looks very, very nice. Uh, it's kind of like a dark red theme. I enjoy it. However, I'm, I am I called this from the beginning. You guys might have seen me saying this when Wingard was given the, the flaming spear kind of thing. That They're just going to make the game a bit silly now. They're going to cash out on glowy effects and kind of ruining their set aesthetic by just chucking in, Oh, look, it glows. Buy me. Now, this is all very good stuff. I enjoy it. It's cool for Marauder, but it's still, we're going down that slippery slope that soon we're going to get glowing dragons. And here we are. Here's a glowing dragon. So, sad. Okay, moving on. This is a really, really interesting, unique set that we haven't really seen before. All right. So we've got this dragon. It's red and white, and it looks very nice. And uh, it's a new one that we haven't seen before. Very cool. Onwards to the armor set itself. It's sort of like, it gives me like a steampunk vibe. And that's purely just because of this one little uh, rosette sort of valve looking thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's like an embroidered, uh, or not embroidered, but uh, more like a, a, what's it called? A trimmed armor piece. Um, one of the cooler looking armor sets. I, I enjoy it. It's very cool. All right, um, past this point, we have Forgotten Bog in the shop again. Um, Bog is a very cool uh, dragon, but um, it's one of like sort of like the what I would call the Marmite dragons of the game. Uh, you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> it's um, one of my favorite skins. Uh, I've really enjoyed Forgotten Bog because it kind of filled the void of not having the, um, the other yellow skin in the game because I didn't get it from the beta. Now we bought it though. All good. Okay, on to this one, Sarg Hildian Cove. Now, we've seen the name Sark Hildian in, in a dragon before, so this is really cool to see. Um, and it's it's fitting an aesthetic that we haven't really seen much in the game. It's sort of like a bluish green on top of black. Very nice. And uh, you can buy this one for silver. Amazing, if I could buy it. Uh, I'm at level 132. I have been denied over 32,000 silver, which I could have used to buy this. Sadly, I can't. Now, on to this one. Bell. Yordian Moor. One of the coffee dragons of the game. We've already seen a coffee dragon in with the Wingard, and uh, this is going to be making a lot of people very happy. You don't get very many sort of like unique themed ones, and this is one of them. So very, very worth it. I would class this as an epic as well. Very nice indeed. Okay, moving on. Cloak of a Thousand Voices. Did you know you could unlock this one? I've already unlocked this myself, um, whether it was from leveling up or through a chess reward, I'm not too sure. Uh, but it's a legendary cape that I already have, so I didn't need to buy it. Okay, moving on. Ice Crag Ensemble. We have already seen this. This is from the Frost and Fury event, uh, giving it out again. We've already bought it. 
we've already seen it, we can move on. Alrighty. So, we have a legendary phantom sword. Very, very cool looking. Um, I'm not too sure about the... I think what's called the pobble here, or uh, essentially like the, the, the hand guards part. It looks very odd uh, with these little spiky bits, but look, it's another flaming sword. Again, I think they're just trying to cash out on sparkly, flamey effects at the moment, um, but that does not make this a bad sword. It looks very, very cool. I would like it. Um, in terms of the actual daily part that we get, we get some uh, treasure. Very cool for me because I can't get it much anymore. And then a... A little banner there. Do I need it? No. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, with that being said, I'm now going to go and actually play the game. Uh, but I will check this video out as fast as I possibly can for you. I um, hope you've all enjoyed it. And uh, with a bit of luck, this game might recover. And we'll start to see some better games. Fingers crossed. Alrighty. Well, look. All the best. Mm. And I will wish you all a good day, night, morning, evening, wherever you guys are in the world. And hopefully see you in game sometime. I know.